New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the Morning, beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg, give it up for the Ellis family on the Woo! program. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you for having thank us. Thank you, thank you. Now, uh, before we start this, um, we're going to make sure y'all don't get into any, you know what I mean? Predicaments that may play out onto Instagram after <laughs> okay. this. Wait, okay. what's that? I mean, then again, things are fair game. So you let me know which way we're going to go. I really wanted people to know that you guys were a positive, yes. bright, loving family. We yes. are. And where can people boys. find them, by the way? Uh, well, you can follow them on DeVal. What is it? Yes, I am DeVal. I am DeVal, I am DeVal on and Instagram. Kadeen I am. Kadeen I on am. On Instagram. And yeah. they do this uh, show on their Instagram, mm -hmm. right? And I just started watching them. Um, probably six months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first episode that I've kind of got sent, someone sent to me was, you were sitting in your chair, and chair, you, yeah, was, um, you was trying chair. to figure out how to get it popping that night. Yes. And, um, and, night, and your son, one of your sons was blocking, or mm -hmm. something like that. It's probably Jackson. Probably right? Jackson. You, nah, probably no, Cairo. Cairo. Definitely the middle Cairo. One. My middle, Cairo, the middle he's one. Blocker. <laughs> he's yeah, a he's blocker. a blocker. Um, and then you started to go into why men have this uh, kind of angst and, 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 and emotional thing they got to deal with. And if I don't get something tonight, that's why it's going to be a problem. Yes, because <laughs> it, it makes me a better dad. See? Right. There you go. When I get to release. And a better person. Because there's oh, a certain amount of yeah. patience and testosterone that can happen in the body. There you go. Now and if my what? testosterone is too high because I don't release, my patience be low. You see? So, so you're, it's like a scientific like, fact. So you're used to him making things up constantly. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Yeah. Absolutely. The way you said believe that. about 10% of what the past is. You know, you, know what, you know it's real. It's not that I don't believe what he's science. saying. It's just the method that he's using to describe <laughs> it. Right, right, right. Science. How many kids science. do you guys have? Down. We have three total. Three, three boys. Okay. How so eight, two, and one. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. So he didn't okay. give me a break on that last no. back to back. No. Mm -hmm. She was making sure the patience was high. Well, no, it was because <laughs> what happens is she'll start cooking in the kitchen. Tell him. Tell she him how the show goes. She'll start look back at it in the kitchen. I do exactly. throw down in the kitchen. And that's how these babies kitchen. keep happening. You can't have so... somebody in their poom poom shorts <laughs> tell in the kitchen making biscuits. <laughs> And, and nobody's going to get pregnant. It's like we were there go. with them. It's kind of yeah. strange. Yeah. We were. Yeah. We, you you should follow. Yeah, we you were. We gave y'all a, a window right. into we, the house. We argue That's like this because she's Jamaican and Vincentian. So she always got the heat on high yeah, in the apartment. And it got it's like project heat in the apartment. <laughs> so she got the heat on high and she don't ever have clothes on. So my thing is how you expect to walk around half naked with no clothes on? And you want me to get it popping. I'm going to want to get it popping. So Normal. we argue about that, you know. Yeah, you know. Family I do, marriage I do stuff. what I can. I do so what how I did can. you guys end up deciding to, to do this, to have a, a show about your lives? Well, um, both of us, you know, went to school for TV film. You know, I'm, I always wanted to act. I grew up watching the Super Bowl and then watching the Oscars the following week. That's always been my thing. And she's always been a performer. She was a pageant Yeah, I girl. went to school for broadcasting. So I was doing some hard news stuff in the beginning, but decided I want to kind of take a turn. So I did some hosting as well. Um, worked for an online news site, The Hot Zone USA, just to kind of build my reel and get right. myself out there with um, with that. So after I was, I was, you know, auditioning for four years, I had booked The Power, I booked The Blacklist, uh, Mysteries of Laura, but I always played a criminal or a gangster or an ex-con. Because you're black. Right. So... <laughs> Yeah, little that's, it's got the a little swole too. So it's like you know, yeah, you Ebro, gotta. I swear on everything. The last one was, was the one that killed me. I went in for Blue Bloods, and they had two roles auditioning for. One was a doctor, and one was of course the ex-con. So the line of ex-cons were all black and brown people. Wow. The line of doctors were all Asian and white. Wow. And I left. Wow. And my wife was uh -huh. like, well, how, like how, well, how did, how did, how did it go? I'm like, out. I'm not doing this no more. She's like, what's the the problem? I'm like, yo, every time my my family sits around and watch me on TV, I'm either in an orange jumpsuit. Or I'm in a lineup, or I killed somebody, or I'm you know I'm an ex cop. So I don't want to do it no more. So she said, "What you gonna do?" I said, "At the time, Instagram only had 15 second videos." So I said, "I'm gonna do a sitcom about our family to show that you know I can do other things, you know, comedic style, you know, comedy and stuff." And she was just like, "I don't know if that's gonna work." I said, "Trust me, just trust me." Yeah, I was a skeptic. And then Instagram went to 60 seconds and. And shit just kind of blew up. And now, yeah. have you guys started using the IGTV too for longer clips? Have you? No, well, we use that? YouTube as well. So right. we do whole okay. 30, 30 minute, well, 22 to 30 minute vlogs. Yeah. So it's and pretty much like a social sitcom that we have on YouTube now. Right. So we figure that's an extended version of like what we right. do on a day to day basis. So that's if we dope. have different things going on, you know, we take a trip somewhere with the kids. Right. That way people can kind of go from our Instagram to the YouTube and watch more extended right. clips of, of us. Well, doing see, stuff. the last time, well, we, we always have people up here doing stuff around the city. Of New York, but last time it was money and violence. I, I brought up here. I was like, "Yo, these dudes doing this thing, money and violence." Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This time, 
other end of the spectrum. Love it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Some some people from Brooklyn doing something about a family, yeah. a married couple, three boys. You're yeah. like a, a trainer and a coach. Yeah, trainer and, and coach. former I'm NFL player. Yeah, I retired playing the NFL four years. Uh, when I retired, I started a nonprofit organization called Prototype. But we mentor men, uh, young men in the community. Dope. So that's really like my passion. That's, I'm really big about my community. So having three boys as well, just want to see them grow up and be successful citizens and successful people. So that's been my life for the past 10 years. But acting has always been on the forefront. I just needed another way to bring in revenue because my wife was used to a certain lifestyle coming from the NFL. <laughs> Let's be real. She was like, you are not going to be a, a broke artist. Right. So, of course, I And I don't get it twisted. Name. Like, I picked up the slack. When he came back, when we moved back yeah. from Michigan, oh. we came back here with nothing. So you were on the Lions the, your whole career? Uh, the Lions for three years, the Browns for one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the thing that was so heartbreaking after he retired was that we did the right things with money. Like, we invested. The recession hit in, what was it, 2008? 2008. And we lost so much money in the stock market, investment. Probably. We bought homes. So I was like, damn, I didn't even get to floss. Like, was, we weren't even out there, like, you know, getting bags and stuff. We were literally doing the right yeah. things with our money and came Still back to Brooklyn with money. nothing. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. yeah. So I went to the mall and I was like, you know what? I'm a makeup artist by trade. I went to Mac at King's Plaza, picked up my brushes and like, all right, we're going to start over. Yo, true right. story. And we're going to do this together. True story. Wow. We come back to Brooklyn, living in a, a four bedroom home, front yard, backyard, basement. And we moved back to Brooklyn in this old apartment that my grandmother was living in. And my kept girlfriend, my fiance, big ass wedding ring on, went to work in Kings Plaza at the at the mall. And she was just like, yo, we need health insurance. I'm going. She just she just went, got her book bag on, went to the mall. And for me, it was just like, damn, like. You got a real one though. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't complain, like, what you gonna do now? Nah, she was just like, yo, I need to get health insurance because we, you know, she was pregnant. With, and she was pregnant. I was pregnant too. She was yeah. pregnant at the time. First she was kid? First kid. First, okay, first okay. child, we was pregnant. She was pregnant with Jackson. She was out there hustling. So I was like, yo, I gotta do my thing. And that allowed me to build my business. And once I built my business, then I was like, yo, you don't gotta work no more. You can work from home, keep building your business at home. And then we flip flopped. So then right. I got my SAG after car from acting, got my insurance. She could, you know, not work at the mall no more. And we've been building ever since. So you, yeah. oh, sorry, Laura, go ahead. It's okay. How do the kids react to you guys shooting them all the time and like, you know, having the camera out? When you guys are on vacation in the house, how do you guys prepare them and how do they react? I think they're accustomed to it, but also, too, I think what people misunderstand is that you get to see a minute video or you see a 22-minute yeah. vlog. We're not doing this all the time. It's literally like, we'll get two minutes here, we'll get two minutes there, right. but we like to also try to live in the moment with the kids as well. Right, so right, we right. put the phone away a lot. Um, and then you realize your kids' personalities as they grow. Um, Jackson and Kyra are oldest and our youngest. I mean, K Jackson and Kaz don't seem to be too into the camera sometimes. We have yeah. to coax them a little bit sometimes, but our middle guy, Cairo, he, forget yo, it. He's he loves, he loves he, the camera. He loves I mean, the he'll camera. pick it up on his own, and I catch myself looking through my phone at videos of him all He's the time. Vlogs. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Cairo. You know, he, he <laughs> yeah, does yeah, that. Yeah. So you kind of realize where your kids lie with it, and then you kind of work around it. And you can and allow them to kind of determine how much of a role they want to have. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of it is improvising. Like, yeah. you know, we're both actors by trade, so if Jackson's not into it, I'll make a video about him not being into it, and then I'll make it comedic. So yeah. we you know, just I don't really want to push him too much. We try, to. try to find a comedy. Yeah, that's it. good. It's a so, nice balance. Kadeem, mm -hmm. um, you have three children. Three. I'm sure, and no disrespect to Val, but I got to compliment your lady here. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, I you look incredible for well, three thank children. thank you. I appreciate right? it. I work uh, hard, man. But I, I, do women hit you up about that also? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think um, I've kind of become this quote-unquote woman influencer by accident, but it's only because I'm raw and true and transparent about my struggles, about being mm -hmm. pregnant and then trying to bounce back after kids and then trying to find out who Kadeen is again. Like, she got lost in the shuffle after being pregnant back to back three years, in and out, kids, breastfeeding, the whole nine. So yeah, I do have women who hit me up and they're like, yo, what do you do to get back in shape? How are you able to juggle everything? How do you make this work? How are you still Kadeen? How are you still all that for your man? And it's to be honest, I don't even know how I do it some days. Like, if I figure if I stop to think about it, then I'm just going to stop altogether. So I just keep you going. Good, though. But y'all go, but, but you, you make sure y'all go to the gym together. Yeah, that's another, that's another yeah, struggle. That's like, struggle. And I bruh. think this is part of the reason that people, like can, women can appreciate her. She hates the gym. Yeah, I do. She hates it. And we're not in the gym like, you know, hey, we love each other. Now she be in the gym like, yo. Right, I'm going to run so. these these freaking miles, but I'm going to curse you out every step of the way. And for me, it's like, yo, I got to coach you the same way I coach my kids. My kids don't like practice. 
So you may not like me right now, but you're asking to get on the treadmill. Well, but also for you, you're, you're a pro athlete, so yeah. it's second nature. The gym part's probably just not difficult yeah, that, for you. No, that, I've been in not. the gym my whole life. Like, right. That's just that's something to get easy. to that level. You were it was such a basic part of your life. Two, three yeah. hours a day, two times a day. Right. Going but for me, I, I can appreciate it because he sees and knows what I want to do with myself. He's like, you want to be back on camera? In this amount of time, you have this role coming up. You need to get your ass in the gym. Like, you can't just be sitting around here expecting shit to happen. It's not I, going to. I think that's what. So the accountability that we have right. with each other is very honest, very transparent. Right. And it's like, yo, if that's you want this thing. to happen, this is what you're going to have to do. That's the biggest thing. Like, we have those real conversations. Like, I'm like, yo, you know, like, let's just recently we both tested for a, a BET show and made it all the way to the final round of testing to for series regular roles. And I had that conversation with her, like, yo. You need to lose 20 pounds if you're going to be in TV. Most people say you can't say that to your wife. But my wife my wife is trying to get into an industry where looks matter. So I have to be on her like that. And she'll say the same thing to me. When I was doing color commentary, voice and diction is important. And she was like, you sound like an ass. You sound too Brooklyn. Like, you need to cut it back a little bit and, and focus on how you speak. And we have those real conversations. Right. You know? So I think that's what, what people kind of can relate well, to. Well, and also, y'all, uh, a few months ago had a, a thing... I, you didn't post a lot about it, which I found interesting. Mm. What's that? Where you was trying to, like, I saw it was one thing where y'all was going through something in the relationship. Yeah. And you was, you, I said it was like two posts, but I never actually saw uh, an episode on Instagram. Maybe mm. you put it up on, on YouTube. Okay. But you was talking about how y'all was losing yourselves in the relationship and you was losing yeah. kind of your spark and y'all had... Got out of balance. It was like I was reading your thing. I was like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Nah, that was they in that trouble. was those nah, are very was, real moments. Those yeah. are real moments that it's not just a one time thing. That's a consistent thing. And I think a lot of it was we had kids back to back, and I didn't realize as a man how much a woman's body goes through when they have a baby and then recovering from a baby. So she had a baby, was recovering, and then got pregnant, and then had another baby and was covering. And during that time, me being selfish because it's my life. I want my wife too, you know what I'm saying? I understand all that. I understand we got kids, but I want my wife. So when your wife don't have time for you, it's kind of like, yo, like, you know, me and you, was, we started this. You started acting like a little baby. You yeah, I did. I'm yeah, like, I'm yo, whining. like, what's, what's good? I got you know four whole boys in that. Deval trying to act cool in here right now. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for the first time. Son. You watch him on Instagram, ain't <laughs> no cool. He like, he's very, was, very in touch. I was, and I know he's trying to be like, oh, I'm acting. Nah, bro, you But do you guys always agree on how much you're going to share? Hurt, bro. No. No, we, we don't, don't agree. So I sometimes he'll sometimes. put up something, but like, yeah, I wasn't really trying to go that way out. You know why? Because I he was actually, hurt. You, yeah. Remember the text? The same thing you talking uh, about. He she posted sent the text a message. text message that I sent him. And I was like, bro, like, why are you posting that? Like, that was supposed to be for like me it. and you. And I was like. I felt So then like he had it. to create the whole, like, narrative around it because people were like, oh, shit, the Ellis is in trouble See, now. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody thought like that was. And I said. Because shit be ain't always sweet, though. We've been together for 17 years in October. October will make 17 years together. July 4th will be nine married. We've been divorced and and married a couple times within this relationship. Like, this that's just... What, this, year. this year. A lot. Yeah, like, we, we go through... Last week. Last <laughs> week. Bro, true, last I week, swear yeah. on everything. And I, I felt like it was important because women will hit me up sometimes and be like, man, how can I get my husband to be like you? And I'm like, yo, y'all don't even know. Y'all, If y'all knew how much stuff we literally go through, you wouldn't be saying that. Right. They're you know what I'm like, saying? Because you see the one minute clip that's yeah. funny and you think that it's like that. Yeah. So sometimes I feel like I owe it to people when we are going through stuff to post it. To tell it them the real stuff So too. that they see. Like, it's not right. fair to just post that aspect right. of it. Well, right. You know Instagram what I'm saying? Instagram is a highlight of all the best exactly. times. Exactly. Of course. And it's that was my point. And that's why when she's like, why'd you post that? I said, because we're going through something and people need to see that we go through stuff so they don't feel like my marriage ain't perfect if I don't, if everything ain't happy. You know what I'm saying? So I posted it. You Plus did, it was yeah. also my, it was my shout it. out to her to let her know like, yo, you need to focus on your man a little that bit. Was, that was you know my little saying? end to be back. All right, let's just make this right right now. So yeah, you we took right. the kids to Mimi's house and you know, yeah. we made it. Y'all went on, um, I think <laughs> it was a vacation or something happened. For our birthday, went to Jamaica. Oh yeah. And you was my drunk. 30th, I was drunk Several the whole time. Days. The whole yeah. time. I was going to say several the whole days. Time, so I'm like, yo. yeah, the whole time. I no had kids. 30, yo. 30 of my friends and family come out. Oh, wow. 30 yeah, people Jamaica, came out to yeah. Jamaica. And That's we had awesome. a whole week. And it was turn up nonstop, which was, was great, drunk. too, because it was one of those resorts that had, like, an adult side and a family side. So my parents kept the kids. So I didn't feel that guilt of, like, damn, I left my kids for a whole week. I went and saw them, made sure they were good. Yeah. And then it was back to the adult side. And so. it was 420 every day. 
Yeah, of course it was. Jamaica, man, enjoy yourself. Jamaica. Still, <laughs> um, look, the Ellis family, you guys have over a million followers combined. Um, mm-hmm. What happens next for you guys? I mean, have you started being able to monetize these episodes? Is, is it really like a moneymaker for the family? Well, I mean, it, it has definitely become a business. Um, we monetized on YouTube. Uh, we monetize on, on Instagram through brand partnerships. Mm-hmm. I mean, ultimately, we can't provide content if we don't have the means to provide content. So right. it has been lucrative for us. You know, yeah. it has been, it's helped us in all of our other businesses. Like I said, I own a gym in Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Lifestyle Athletics. So people who see us, who want to train, now they come to that gym. Oh, dope. You know, um, I partnered with a guy who owns a, an arena team, the New York Streets. Shout out to the New York Streets. We 2-0 oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. We just had Wait, a what? game. Yeah. Yeah, the first minority, a, yeah, the first minority owned professional team in New York. Part of the when did this start? This happened in the spring. Happened in the spring. The New Shout York Streets. Shout out about this? How is Shawnee? Why would Shawnee know about this? <laughs> yeah, Shawnee doesn't even. Maybe it was the word was out it's, in Brooklyn. It's yeah, but very it's football. real. Shawnee can Shawnee it's can only name five real. NFL teams. I know, but see, but yo, you gotta know. we successful too. Two and zero. We got to deal with. They win games. Got to deal with MSG. They had a nice little home game. Yeah, yeah. We grinding, man. Wait, where did they play? Uh, Westchester County Center. We're working on some things to get it in Madison Square Garden. Right now, we have a TV deal with MSG. So all of our games are going to be on MSG And you're MSG part line. owner of this team? Yes. And wow. uh, the director of player personnel. That's really cool. He wears mad hats. Sometimes I think he's the Jamaican one because he got mad jobs. Well, I mean, but... let's be real. <laughs> Outside of being an artist, I'm trying to develop a legacy for my boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you think about the culture, a lot of our people don't have anything. So I want to be able, when I'm done, to be able to say, yo, you want to get in the TV film? Here's daddy's company. Here's mommy's company. You want to get into sports, you can go intern at this team. You want to get into management, you can intern at the gym. This way, you know, if we do have to pay for college, if they don't get a scholarship, you can graduate and walk into a job like so many of my white counterparts do. You know, I want to be able to do the same thing for my boys. That's dope. That's the, that, you guys are awesome, man. It's really cool what you guys are doing. No, I appreciate so, it. On multiple it. levels. It's really, yeah. really cool. You guys have to at some point do one of those episodes that you can't afford to miss where it's like a to be continued where something's like. No, yeah, yeah. The, the, well, I think it's a real life, though. I don't yeah, want no. that episode. Well, I'll be you honest. Right? You don't want the bad no. episode. Uh, That's not a about the real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're known for, real life. So I yeah, mean, we, we have some other opportunities, though. I mean, we have a couple things in development, um, non-scripted and scripted television. So, are y'all prepared for the day, right? Let's where you guys are going through something, mm-hmm. and everybody else is telling y'all what y'all supposed to be doing in the community. Have y'all got to that? Mo- has that happened yet? It, where it, everyone's it, telling y'all y'all can't break up. Oh, we've <laughs> had that, that, we already. Have that already. We've already had, we've that, had that. Like on the street. On the street. <laughs> if y'all ever break up, I don't believe in love ever again. Like we could never break up. So that's we've getting a lot of that on our like yeah. comments and stuff on different posts and stuff. It's yeah, a lot of pressure. Already. It's a lot yeah. of pressure. But I'm you with know, it. Being a professional athlete, I'm with it. Like, and it's funny. Initially, when we went into this whole thing, I thought this was going to be something kind of lighthearted, and it's just another way for us to just develop our, you know portfolio and our resume but we've become also we had we were on black love on own yeah, that right. series so we've become kind of like these poster children for black love I, accidentally and i was kind of nervous about that in the beginning because i'm like i don't want us to put our relationship on some sort of pedestal where people feel like oh the ellis's are untouchable so even when people ask for advice sometimes i'm like don't That's ask me for thing. advice with relationships That's i said i'm still thing, trying bro. to figure out this dude every day like i can't advise you on your no, relationship listen, we, yeah. we jokingly you know? do a segment on our show the guru where we the gurus, yeah. it's, the it's a joke yeah it's when, a joke people who literally who literally prop themselves up to give advice on things i never believe that's okay. because no one who's successful really has the right. key of what you're supposed to do but I, I that's the heart you absolutely it. right we say it all the time i wouldn't know the first thing about giving relationship advice People ask me all the time, can you mentor can you mentor me in marriage? I'm like, nah, bro. But okay. you like, I'm not an expert. I just, yeah. you know, figure it out but with my wife. Right. Right. You know I, mean? I get it. I'm us. definitely not an expert on relationships. Mm. You know. Um, that all of y'all who are, that including y'all mm. and Rosenberg, whether, you know, through good or bad times, there is an empathy for your partner and a desire to want to make things work that not everyone has. That's a fact. The desire to want to That's actually make it work. That's right? No, you're right. Not everybody has that That's ability. And That's so, true. you know, you get to a crossroads and people quick to bail. Now you're right. You're right. That's true. That, that in itself is, I think, That's true. the yeah. biggest key. That's true. Like, yeah. do you actually want this person and are That's you going to stay in it when times get tough? Mm-hmm. I mean, That's, for it. I mean, that's the biggest thing when I tell people. The only advice I give them, you have to want to be there. People ask me all the time, especially women, how did Kay get you to settle down? I'm like, Kay never got me. Do anything. do anything. I yeah. wanted to settle down. Like I wanted this part of my life. I wanted monogamy. I wanted to be married. So since I wanted that, 
we fight we through the, the, the right day person, of the issues yeah. and I find reasons to continue to do that. You know, there's no, she did this or she dressed up these many times or she makes this breakfast. Nah, I just wanted it. I wanted it. For me, it was a focus thing. Me being with one woman allowed me to focus on football at the time, allowed me to focus on college, allowed me to focus on TV. So that's part of my makeup, you know, just being able to focus on that. I think another thing, too, that is important is showing how you guys are self-starters. Even you putting the whole thing together on free platforms that are available to everyone. Like, when people ask you, like, how did you do it? Well, like, we just did it. Because a lot of people are trying to yeah. figure out tips and ways. Yeah. You guys just figured it out. They were like, YouTube yeah. is available for everyone. Yeah. Did the work. Right. Shot it yourself. Edited yeah. it yourself. Yep. Do and threw work. it on, you know, on YouTube yourself. And we did it also, too, with a lot of people telling us that we shouldn't do it this way. Yeah. They're like, no, because people are only going to see you as an influencer. They're only going to see you as this. or They're only going to see you as a mother. And we totally went against the grain with this and said, you know what? F it. We're going to just build it up our own way. And it's been a thing. It's become a It's hit. just the work. You like know? you said, you got to do the work, man. Do the work. You got to do the work. Do I, the and work. I modeled what we've done after the rap game. You look at some of the greatest rappers of all time, singers. They just said, oh, you don't want to give me a deal? You don't want to give me a deal? I'm going to record on my own. I'm going to release my own album. And now look. So for me, I was like, freak it. You don't want to give me a lead role in your comedy series? Make my own stuff. So yep. got to do the work. And I get to do it with my partner. Like, yeah, you there know? you go. Works for out real. Good. Yeah, for we get real. to Man, y'all got through this whole interview. Didn't even get into a fight, man. <laughs> Yo, that's just how we do, <laughs> you know, right? It was a good day. We woke up on a good day. It's, it's Monday. Nice. Monday morning. We just started. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's Monday. We had it been, had it been Friday. We got to set the tone 420 for was Saturday. So I'm calm. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. residual well, effects. Congrats, but we can't, guys. Thank you. We can't no, leave you, with, uh, without one, one other announcement. Like, we're forgetting one of the biggest things. Oh, wait, y'all got big announcements? Yes. Y'all need drum rolls? We yes. need drum rolls. Who got drum rolls? Anybody got drum rolls? Don't make Shawnee work. Yeah. Come on, Shawnee. What's your major announcement? What's your major announcement? So... The major announcement is we have a podcast coming We have a podcast deal with Stitcher. I'm super excited about it. With Stitcher. What's that? With Stitcher. Forget it, Ebro. Just yeah. keep going. That's really... It's a good thing. Yeah. Is Google it, it, it Ebro. It's good. Yes, this is yes, good. Yes, yes. It's a good thing. It's called it uh, Dead Ass with Kadeen and DeVal Ellis. Dope. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so we kept it real Brooklyn, real New York. Because we felt like if even if we were to relocate, we have to just always keep that piece of New, New York. York. Yeah, always. We have Born to. and raised. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so people can get more in a different format of what you guys do. Yes. Yeah. They get to hear us discuss everything from marriage yeah, a little bit more to extended. Yeah. business parenting mm -hmm. and it's looking topics. at it through the lens of you know a mill millennial married couple yeah. and we're going to talk about a little bit of everything so and we're excited about again? that may 15th may 15th, may 15th. May 15th. Oh, subscribe yes, yeah you can go subscribe. on stitcher apple Podcasts, spotify wherever you uh get your, get your podcast at so may 15th it launches i'm not going to guarantee i'll listen but i subscribe I give them that's all you they need make sure you download you listen to a lot of stuff yeah i mean hey not really i don't you don't listen to shit you're not a consumer. You just I don't. I you listen create? to music, okay, okay. or or news. That's about it. Okay. Right. I mean, if then you I'm listen done. to people talking, you're talking to people all day. You may not want to hear that, but you know. But I support y'all by subscribing, and I still follow y'all on it. IG. There you there go. Appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate it. Give it up to Ellison. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.